We knew something was wrong in 2002. Um, that was the year that Luke was born, and I want to say maybe just a month after Luke was born, um, Chip started tripping. So I guess he had toe drop, which is associated with MS, but we didn't know what it was at the time. And it took probably three years till we could fi got a final diagnosis. The things that I like to do with my dad are shuffleboard, playing, playing pool, rhinoing, boating and fishing, eating and jet skiing, water skiing. I uh, will water ski while he's in the boat pulling us. And Chip's life has changed in so much that he can't run um, with his children, which I know he'd love to do. But other than that, he's remained very independent. He has, whatever he's had to do to keep going, um, getting a scooter, um, getting a lift to get the scooter in and out of the car. Um, he still goes into work. He plays with his kids just in a different manner. Um, more Wii games, more um, board games, family games, movie nights. You know, I know it's very different for him now because he was always very athletic and um, was just really looking forward to, you know, children and he finally had children and it was kind of sad in a way that he couldn't run and play with them, but he's, he just keeps coping and, and staying positive. The kids deal with, um, I get, you know, they don't know any different. They, they grew up, Luke, Luke, you know, was born the same year that there were problems. Um, they, I don't think they know any different. They, they help out, they help out with the scooter, they help around the house. Um, they think they just know daddy is daddy. He pulls us, I'm gonna go water skiing. Mm, I skiing. Mm. And, It's getting harder now to, to do some things, um, but again, Chip never complains. Then he rarely asks for help unless he really needs it. Um, I find, though, that the public, the general public, is always very willing to help when he's out and about. So everything, you know, they make that much easier on him. I, I guess I never thought of him as a hero. I mean, I know he was just extraordinary in, in moving on with his life, but in particular, going back to being with my family in New Jersey, and they don't see him very much, maybe once a year and they would see the progression of him walking less and less and less, but remaining just as positive, always smiling, you know, still the same jovial Chip. Like, that's why he got his name when he was little, Chipper. Um, and, you know, they kept calling him their hero, and I came back, and that's when I wrote the, the nomination, because I was just touched by that. Uh, Chip said to me one time, today will always be my best day, and at first I thought that that sounds really sad, um, but the more I, I thought about it and knowing Chip, I took it to mean, as he probably intended it, that he makes every day his best day. And he just stays positive and upbeat every day, and that's how he goes on with his life. And I love him. We love you. Congratulations. Thank you for doing everything you do for us. Thank you for feeding us when my mom's not home. Playing pool and playing shuffleboard, racing cards with me, and helping me do my panel with derby cars. Now that Chip has won this award, I guess I want to say that, well, and we say all the time that we love him, but this is a very public way to say it, and that we're very proud of him, and he really is our hero.